Well, it is time to have a little fun and a little education with our friends from the Hands-On Discovery Center. You know, we always enjoy their visits and we learn a lot. Happy to have Chrissy Worth and John Crackleberg with us again. Hello, how are y'all doing? Doing Good. great. Thank it's, you. it's not exactly a beautiful morning, but you know, it's a great morning to be <laughs> yeah. doing some science It's indoors. a good time to be indoors yeah, exactly. doing some science. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you brought some of our favorite candy. We've been discussing Skittles. We'll, we'll get to that in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Chris ate yeah. most of our reds out of our rain. <laughs> <All done. laughs> well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what are we going to do first? So to start off, you know, before you can have a rainbow, you need some rain. So Miss Chrissy okay. actually has a, a, an experiment right, that Chrissy. replicates the process of rain clouds. Absolutely. All right. So what I have here today is just a, a cup of water. Okay. I also dyed some water blue to represent our rain. All right. And some shaving cream here today that's going to represent our clouds. Uh, so it's a very simple activity that you can do at home during spring break with oh, your family okay. um, and a great way to educate about how rain works. So we're going to first put that shaving cream Which right kids on the water. Love. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that ready whip, right? Is there anything better? No, no. And then we are going to simulate the rain by using these little droppers. You could use straws at home if you don't have droppers. Okay. Uh, do you want to help me sure. make it rain? Sure. All right, so we're gonna just pour the rain on the shaving cream. And this is gonna represent the rain and the moisture of the clouds, because when the clouds get so much moisture, uh, they can't take it no more and it just starts to rain. It gets oh too heavy. Goes. There it goes. Oh, so eventually you will see the raindrops, because the cloud is now getting too heavy. Oh, here we go, exactly. here we it's go. It's looking like the clouds outside there right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it's the, it's the perfect time to do an activity about rain. Um, and also, you know, for St. Patrick's Day coming up, it's a perfect activity there to incorporate well, the holiday. <laughs> it's not cooperating. <laughs> well, we were just learning a lot about the water cycle, and I think kids find it fascinating that it's yes. just one <laughs> continuous Absolutely. cycle. Absolutely. Absolutely. It'll start raining here. It will start raining. The cloud <laughs> is going to get super heavy, and uh, it will start raining. So In the meantime, no John worries. and I are just going to sit over here and eat some Go Skittles. Go for it. Yeah, <laughs> We're going to wait for it to rain. Here we go. Put it in the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Immersive experience. Here we go. Here we go. There's some rain happening. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. And then as we know, once the rain happens and the sun will come out, we get a, a rainbow. rainbow. A rainbow. This isn't exactly the scientific definition of a rainbow, where light is passing through the water droplets in the air and diffracting to make that beautiful, colorful rainbow. No, we're using sugary candy to replicate so the colors. I mean, it's tasty science. It is. Well. I'm so, surprised you have any Skittles left. We won't for long. <laughs> so for this, again, very basic setup, you just need a plate, preferably a white plate, so you can kind of see those colors interacting with each other. And I've separated out the Skittles by color a little bit. If you want to Go and just take a couple handfuls, some, some of those Skittles, and arrange okay. them on the plate. This is where it's completely customizable. You can, of course, do a rainbow ring around the outside. You could do your initials or make a smiley face. Uh, we are going to stick with kind of a rainbow pattern because, of course, you know, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and yep. mm -hmm. there's always a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow, no. so I've heard I've never found one. No. Pot of Skittles. <laughs> yes, yes. Which is sometimes I'd be happy with good. that. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yes. Now, okay. one of the reasons why these uh, candies, which you know we won't say the name of, not a sponsor, oh, but sorry, they're yes. so delicious because <laughs> they are candy coated and they have you know that that sugary shell with food dye and food coloring, which mm -hmm. is dissolvable in my favorite chemical, water. Right. So in the vase there, we just have some regular tap water. Okay. And you're going to pour just enough water so it's about half submerged. The skittles are okay. about half covered. Mm -hmm. You don't want to like dump a whole lot of water and just have all this skittles float right. away. And this is where you could, again, kind of customize it, turn it into a science experiment. You could use either warm water or cold water. See, see what makes the, the sugary shell dissolve faster. You can go ahead and add a little bit more. Okay. I can see some of that dissolving Ooh. already taking place. Absolutely. Yeah. And now this does take a little bit of time, but as the sugary shell starts dissolving, those colors are going to seep into the middle. And the fun thing is, is they don't mix. They will actually stay, stay separated. So you get kind of like these exactly lanes, rainbow bands of color that kind of you know merge towards the center. And that's because the sugar, it's it's a gradient of, of uh, concentration of the sugar. It's kind of like, have you ever slid down a slide? It's yes. easier to slide from the top where, you know, high elevation Gravity. down to low elevation. It's kind of right. harder to slide from the bottom 
up. Doesn't really happen. So yeah. the sugar will kind of slide to where there's less and less of the of the sugar in mixture, and after a while, all those all those colors will kind of start to mix together, and you kind of get this. Ooh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Look at oh, that's well, like a that's like a tie dye. Effect. It does look yeah. tie dye. Yeah. Yeah. But you still see those bands. I don't know if we can get. Yeah, look at that. Look at that beautiful. Oh my goodness! You get those bands. There we go. Mm -hmm. The beautiful rainbow pattern right there. And I love the center. Yes, it made it's like very a colorful. pretty shape. It almost looks like a spade in a deck it of does. cards. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Oh it my is goodness. gorgeous. Hypnotizing. Yeah, you're yes, all kind of yes. sitting there staring at it. You yeah. know? And of course, once the science is over, you're left with you know the remainder of the bag of Skittles to snack on as you discuss the science behind rainbow Skittles. Mm -hmm. There you go. And you guys, of course, getting ready for a very busy March spring break right around the corner. Absolutely. I know, parents, you're wondering what mm -hmm. can we do with our kids? What a great place. We got yeah. plenty going on in March. Absolutely. So bring yep. your kids, we bring your family, <laughs> load yeah. up the car and come on down yeah. and have some fun and hands on. The thundercloud over here is starting to, to, to release some water. <laughs> there it, it goes. There, there it goes. goes. There it goes. Yeah. It's starting to rain just a little bit. You know, we had a lot of fun with the shaving cream. Like yeah. at my house, if I get out ready whip or shaving cream. I mean, just we know something fun is about absolutely, to happen. Absolutely. Well, you mm. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. We Here could do some it. shaving. Do yes, there absolutely. You go. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, certainly a lot of programs uh, like you mentioned. I know you guys take advantage mm -hmm. of spring breaks to do a lot yes. of different education things. Yes. We have um, a pre-K program coming up in March and also at the end of the month we also have our dino egg hunt, which is super excited on Good Friday. So oh, that's very always good. a lot of fun. That a lot of fun. All right, well, we're going to give everybody your information. The website is a great place to go. Also, check out their Facebook page. You can find out more on the different program. Visit handson.org. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thanks for having Thank us. You.